So, Paul, I'm pretty convinced by the evidence we've seen that there really is a big black hole, a million-plus solar mass black hole in the middle of the Milky Way. Do you think our Milky Way is alone, or is it sort of normal? Well, people have tried to look at whether there's a massive black hole in the middle of other galaxies, and it's a very tricky thing to do uh, because... We can't trace the individual stars. It's, I mean, it's hard. It's really on the edge of our technology, even in our own galaxy, only a mere eight, kilo, eight um, kiloparsecs away, whereas in any, any other galaxy, it's much further away. But you can use a Doppler effect and look at the fraction of stars that are moving fast towards and away from you. And if you zoom right in the middle of pretty much any galaxy that's near enough to do this work, you do indeed see that the stars in the middle are moving at some enormous speed. So I'd go in and I'd take a spectrum here and one here, as fine in detail as I could, and I'd see that that side's moving away, this side's coming towards us, and I infer a rotation speed for those stars. It could be rotation, or it could be the stars are just falling in and out of the gravitational well and coming back oh, and forward. So the swarm of bees motion as well. Yes. Either way. But the mass means the bees are swarming really fast. Yeah. Okay, very good. And that seems to be what's the case. Uh, but the middles of galaxies, are typically what we're in a disk galaxy like our own, is what, typically what we call a bulge. Here's an edge on view of a galaxy. You can see it puffs up in the middle. This is the bulge of a galaxy. We talked about this in microlensing back in the exoplanets course. And it seems that the, um, the black hole is, lives in the middle of the bulge, and its properties are very closely related to that of the bulge. Here's a, a view of a bulge in another galaxy, and the black hole's right in the middle, and the properties of the bulge, which is how many stars it's got, how bright it is, its size, all seem to correlate very strongly with the mass of the black hole in the middle. All right, so you've got a bunch of stars, which took lots of time to form and presumably formed by some process that makes stars. And then you have this giant supermassive black hole in the center, and you're saying that those things seem to go hand in hand. That's not at all obvious to me why that would be true. Yeah, presumably it's telling us something about how this formed. Uh, we don't really know, as you talked about in the previous course, about how these giant black holes formed, but maybe whatever process formed the giant black hole also forms the swarm of stars around it. Or maybe even there's some sort of feedback cycle, so that, for example, let's say you've got gas flowing in and it's forming stars and forming the black hole at the same time, and if it's coming in too fast, the black hole forms and lights up um, as matter is accreted to it like a quasar and blows stuff back out and stops the formation again. So maybe there's some sort of feedback cycle going on here. Yeah, I'm not sure, especially since we can't really figure out even how to make big black holes, it turns out. It's one of the big mysteries is how do you make giant black holes. I mean, it's got to be a big clue. But the other thing you can think of is, you know, Disk galaxies like our own Milky Way have relatively small bulges, but there are galaxies which have very big bulges, in fact, or almost all bulge. Here you've got the disk here in the Sombrero galaxy, but a huge great bulge is actually most of the galaxy. And you get galaxies which are entirely bulges. We call them elliptical galaxies. And these ones you'd expect to have really massive black holes, and indeed that's what you seem to find. Right, so this one, for example, has a black hole that we believe is greater than 10 to the 9, a billion times the mass of our sun. And it's a galaxy that's uh, about 100 times bigger than the Milky Way as well. So it sort of falls in. But yeah, a billion solar mass black hole and so short a time to make it. Because how are you going to create something that big? 